Hey guys, this is Matt Core from controlpaint.com and we want to do cool things in Photoshop. As you've seen in this series, vectors make that a lot more possible, but there's just some confusing types. In this video, we're just going to clarify the difference between vector shapes, paths, and vector masks. They are similar, but it's important to understand the difference. So what I'm going to do for this video, and you can download the sheet and follow along if you like, but I want to have my paths visible because I'm going to need to be able to see both paths and layers at the same time. So you'll see in my document right now, I have no paths. I have some shape layers. Shape layers are exactly what you think they are. These are vector shapes that exist in the layer palette. You can do things like free transforming them, rotate, whatever you want. Now you'll notice I now have a path. What is that path? This is actually just letting me know that I have a shape layer selected. When I select something else, like the background, that goes away. So that's just a temporary thing. Now, if I want to make a path, as you've seen in previous videos, I just make a new blank path, then I get the pen tool out, and I go to path mode, and here I can just make a path. This does not exist on the layers palette, it is only in the paths palette. And I'll give that a name just to clarify. So here we have triangle, path. There are times when you want to have something that started as a path become a layer shape. So the way I do that is to select the path that I want to become a shape. We'll say triangle path, cool. And then I go to layer, new fill layer, solid color. And I'm just gonna give it a name here. We'll call it triangle shape, not a path. This time it's a shape because it's gonna be in my layers palette. Say okay, and I'll pick something visible. Ooh, not that one. Okay, there, there we go. So now I have two things. I have triangle shape, which is a layer, triangle path, which is a path. So let me go to my move tool. I'll click in the empty space here on the paths palette. So I have no path selected and I'll just select triangle shape and I can move it wherever I want. Now, if I go back to my original path that I created, triangle path, you'll see that that's still here. Just because I used a path in order to create a shape doesn't mean that they're linked in any way. One just sort of gave birth to the other and now they're separate forever. Now we can also go the other direction. In fact, it's even easier to go the other direction. So if I have this shape here, that's kind of a square with a hexagon cut out of it. Okay. That's one shape. I have it called hex hole shape. If I want to create a path in the paths palette, you'll notice here's where that italicized temporary path comes in handy. Remember if I select nothing, it's gone. But then once I select that layer again, it comes back. Okay, cool. Now I just double click on that name and I can give it a title. So I'll call this one just to kind of match what I've been doing. I'll call this hex whole path. Cool. Okay. Now I can deselect by clicking in the negative space here and I can move the shape layer if I want. And you can see that they are now totally separate. The path has stayed in place and the shape is its own deal. So we've gone from shape to path and from path to shape. Now, what about vector masks? You can see here in the center, I've got this uh, little pokeball here. Clearly, since there's brush strokes, this is not just vector. What we're looking at here is a layer of paint and I could pick really any color here. And I'm just painting inside of a mask, but the mask is a vector, just like I've shown in previous videos. This is pretty easy as well. The only thing here is that you can't go from shape layer to vector mask. We have to go from a path to a vector mask. And that's why I have these palettes both visible at the same time. So let me start with, uh, we'll do this window here. Let's say I wanted to paint in this uh, window shape. I would begin by creating a path because right now I don't have this window shape in my paths palette. So I'll go to the window shape and I'll turn that into a path. So I'll say window path. Okay. Now I have the path I need and I'm just going to hide the layer just to remove confusion. So I'll make my new layer that I'm going to paint and here I'll just paint big brush strokes. In order to use that path that I just created as the mask, here's what I need to do. Select the layer in question, select the path in question. They're both gray. And now I go to layer, vector mask, 
current path. There we go. The reason you need to have a path and not a shape to begin with is because you need to have a path selected and the layer you want to mask with that path selected. But now that you know how to transfer back and forth between shapes and paths, paths and shapes, it's really not that hard. So clearly this is not a beautiful exercise in the theme of Vector Bootcamp. I encourage you to just download this, play around with it, and give it a try. Trust me when I say we are heading towards the finale and we will put this into practical painting use. But for now, just work hard, learn this stuff, and you'll be happy you did. See you in the next video.